Hello boys and girls, it's Stevie again from SD Gear with So Saves Me and today what we have for sale is a machine that I just finished servicing. In fact, you'll see my video on the channel on how to service a machine. This was a very good example of a good clean vintage machine to service and now it's going to be up for sale. I This is going to be a 148 12150 Kenmore, Sears Kenmore and it got a new bobbin tire, uh, new winder tire, a new belt and uh, I'm gonna also include this little doily I like my doilies instead of a felt and uh, let's thread it up and see uh, see how good it works put a spool on and the only thing I really dislike about the uh, 148s is the thin metal lid and they put that pin on there it makes a rattle when that thing hits around so what you're gonna do is you're gonna run that through there and there's a little hole in the front and you're gonna go through that I'll get a good picture of that for you. And then I'm going to run down here through the tension assembly. And my foot is up. I'm going to bring it up over. All the way. And then theoretically, if you let go of it, your thread will follow in there and catch inside this guide. And we'll get a nice close-up uh, picture of that too so you can see what I'm talking about here. go and then I usually drop my foot after I get it in the tension assembly so I can't pull more thread we're gonna put it through the ta thread take up okay and then I actually left the screw out of this because I needed to show you there is a pigtail in here and you're gonna have to bring your thread back down and run it through the pigtail you don't normally see it all that well with this cover on. So I'll get a good picture of that. I got you where the needle is and I'm gonna bring my thread back and there's another pigtail right here that you've got to run your thread through just like so. And then you can go ahead and just put it through the needle. You're finished threading through the little guides and whatnot. See if we can get it in there. Now this is an all metal machine. Heavy duty. Weighs a ton. It'll be perfect for light sewing, heavy sewing, whatever kind of sewing you're gonna do. In fact we're gonna test it here with some denim and some leather and some cotton and all sorts of stuff here in a second. And we're gonna put our bobbin in. And you have a little plate there but for this purpose, since I don't have it in a case or anything, and this is just for the head unit, I've already put my bobbin in, and I'm just going to put her down in there. And throw your thread, and get this in there. And then, in theory, run it down one time, and look at that, it picked up my thread perfectly fine, and now we're threaded and ready to sew some stuff. This is a very simple machine. It only straight stitches and zigzags. I got two layers of cotton here, and it is a left homing machine. Tighten it up here. My camera's vibrating off the table here. Then we're going to do some, let's do a zigzag here. We'll do an about, a, about a two. Very smooth machine. This is some basic cotton. Let's go in reverse. Forward. Pretty powerful machine too. 
has the classic monster one amp motor. As you can see the stitching. Let's do something a little heavier, shall we? So I'm going to go back to straight stitch. And we'll make it a little bit smaller here and let's get some denim up underneath that. So there's one layer. I'll loosen my foot up a little bit because I'm about to put a lot of stuff underneath this. So we're going to get it started here. So I got a layer, two layers, three layers, four layers. Five layers, six layers, and this does have the extra lift, seven layers. We can do more, right? Eight layers. We can get one more up underneath there. We got the extra lift. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, come on, Mr. Kenmore. Nine layers. I am using just a standard sharp size 12 needle. Oh, man. It hammered right through that. Nope, not going to pull that out. So there you go, nine layers of denim. I only have four strips of leather here though, but that's okay. We'll do some leather. How's some leather sound? So there's one layer. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. Didn't have enough thread brought down. If you're looking for a good machine to do cosplay with and to sew light leathers and whatnot, this is a machine that you need. If you're sewing heavy denim, this is still a really good machine to have. It even do lightweights like silks. Unfortunately, it is a pretty base machine. It doesn't do anything much fancier than just a zigzag and a straight stitch, but most leather working and cosplay only requires straight stitch. So it doesn't do any monogramming or anything fancy. So there's one layer. Let's get another layer up underneath there. Two layers. Three layers. And this is pretty soft leather, a little heavier than purse level leather. Four layers. Since I'm kind of low on leather here, I'll roll it over. That makes five layers, six layers, seven layers. That's a lot of stuff. Just to show you how, how powerful Kenmore's are and how much I like them, there is belt leather. That's right. Two layers, really heavy belt leather. It does fit underneath the foot. I don't know if this size 12 needle is going to handle it, but let's see what it does, shall we? This might be too much for it. sew it. 
this is not something I would do with it on a daily basis though. But if you were going to pinch or if you needed to sew a thick layer of piece of leather on a shoulder pad or something, you could use this machine to do that from time to time. Uh, one layer, oh gosh, that was tough. One layer shouldn't be too bad for it. For example, if I wanted to put a layer on top of some denim or some cotton. like make armor and you're not exactly doing two layers of it. One layer should be enough. This is about the machine's max that I would ever run through it on a regular basis or semi-regular basis is a layer of material and a layer of leather. Heavy belt leather. I want to I want to stress that this is four or five millimeter vegetable tanned heavy duty leather. And as you notice, I haven't been messing with the tension. That's one beauty part of the Kenmore's. I don't know why, but it seems like as long as you're in the ballpark for these machines, they sew perfectly fine, and that's really about it. Hey, thank you for watching.